Tabulation. It's like, it's fucking with it. Nah, Tabulation. All that's, all that's about to change. You know, Drake just puts a bunch of smart words in his sentences. I, I don't do I don't do <laughs> this. <laughs> this nigga Stephen A. Smith shit. I'm like, oh, here we go. <laughs> probably be wearing the dictionary. Shame. He wants he wants to use it. <laughs> that's what I'm that's what I'm saying, bro. It'd be shit that I might have learned years ago and heard on a show, and somehow like it takes like two years and then it'll go into my, my vocabulary as Kev says. Yeah, don't I'm yeah, bad don't, at that shit. I'm into your lexicon. Into this nigga. Here you go, word. Here you go, word for you. into your lexicon. <laughs> See, I'm not even gonna say that until like two years from now, and then I'm gonna say it. Your Fuck your lexicon, lexicon I mean. It's like you that should sound like a, a conference for Alex, Lexus owners. It's like your word, like your the words that you acquire, you know, through knowledge. Like you go look them up in the dictionary and you add it to your, your vocabulary. So it's like it, I don't know how to describe that shit. But you just described it. Words, <laughs> you, you just described it, bro. You good. Well, I got what I was just, supposed to get from what you said. Yeah, you know, that's because Kevin knows how to teach a Dre. I don't know how so, to. <laughs> I about to say, I don't knows, know how to learn. Knows how to teach a Dre. Teach Dre knows Dre. how to me. Yeah, and Dre knows a teach how to teach a Dre. Yeah, he <laughs> <laughs> knows how to teach a Dre. I must need. Yeah. I, I definitely need somebody who can break it down for me. Break it down. I mean, you know, yeah. I mean, that shit comes yeah, with us small. getting older. You know, I mean, we're not doing. When we were younger, we were consistently what going to school. Try. Well, I mean, even when we didn't think we wanted to, we were trying to learn shit. You know, what I mean, whether it be something of. That we weren't interested in or something we really had an interest in you know what i mean like for instance when you were really really heavy into football and playing football Dre, mm -hmm. you were learning plays you were learning different ways of how to do this you were reading playbooks you were into the shit. your mind was yeah. open to figure things out now you might want to watch football but you don't care about playing it so when it comes to new plays and learning new shit like that you're like nah, i don't, I don't care right now but i do want to see y'all win and show me how you did it. You know what I mean? I won't learn it. I'll just be amazed. No, you're yeah, right about that. We, we don't have the tolerance at this age to be like, let's learn some new things. But we need to. I, I mean? want. Yeah, we that's one to. of my weaker, weaker you know what I'm things. Saying? I got to yeah, learn yeah, some yeah. new shit. I feel we, we're just yeah. getting complacent in life. And we got to we gotta break that cycle of being complacent with the things that we're happy with. And, and figure out how to make things better for the things that we're not happy with. You know what I mean? And that's a hard part being 40 and almost 40 for Dre. You know what I mean? We 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 just that boy, that boy we've been living you. life for so long doing wild shit as a young person. And now when we older and people be like, oh, I'll be doing this, I'll be doing that. And I mean, me and Kel will look at each other like we've been doing shit like that. We done did that shit. We we done with that shit. But we've we've I'm pretty sure we wasted a lot of our youth Take doing that. Shit. Yo, ass <laughs> doing shit that we yeah, don't somewhere. It's, it's one of those things where you don't even realize, realize. But you only, it's one of the things you only can realize after you yeah. accumulated that amount of. Then you're like, ah, shit. We learned what. We, listen, we've learned what we learned from those things, though. Experiences. You know what I mean? It's just that now I think what we want to do as older older men or grown men. Is we want to kind of aim those learning experience now before they were unaimed, like you just learn what you learn. And I think now we're more concentrating on yo, you know what? I might want to learn how to, I don't know, like do a floor or some shit like that. Like I'm just coming up with like regular shit. Like, you know what? That's the kind of shit I want to fucking learn. You so feel like the learning curve is a little bit more difficult though, right? Yes. At this age. Yes, it is. Retaining the retaining the, the information is. Yes. is the hard part. That's what it is. Nigga, yeah. read, reading the information is the hard part for me now. Like this kind of <laughs> shit. Like, but, uh, Maybe that's not the oh. um, I'm right. I'm trying to get the sight in this ship. Like, God, there it is. You <laughs> nigga, get some glasses. <laughs> <laughs> that's easy. <laughs> Yo, you look like the kind of nigga that'll get, that'll get like hazel contact lenses, though, if you do. Hey, yo, um, shut no, up, yo. Yo, can't pop away. I'm done with life. If he probably nah, my brother can't be. I'm clown oh, you for shit. a second. That nigga had contacts. What color? What color? That nigga did some. That nigga did some like blue. Oh contacts my god! Shit like that. Nigga look like a vampire. Nigga look like one of the characters. The, in the, the fuck out of here. 
<laughs> niggas was buying contacts, man. The niggas was buying contacts from the, the corner store, putting them shits in their eyeballs. Y'all, oh, definitely y'all, gosh, the I'll very, put in very, color corner very store. light is brown or hazel. So you or put in color like contacts? That. I've put in. I've had a when I was in high school. I've had a friend who <laughs> um, a friend who wore contacts, and we was just, just doing stupid shit. So I would uh, try to holler at some chicks. I would put. Well, the the friend was a girl, so. I would wear the cons. Just drawing though. So yes, I've Try. I've put them in my eyes before. Yes. Yeah, the, the we friend is a girl, but you that's your friend. You was trying to holler at some other it wasn't females. My, it wasn't my friend. She was, was your friend with expectations. It was it was my girlfriend <laughs> in high school. Uh, so she yeah, that's you know she, my wife is in there, like so. He's like Dre was like, baby, let me be on some fly shit and put these contacts and we're gonna go, go to school. And he yep. have a nigga with, <laughs> with angel eyes today. Yep. That's exactly <laughs> what know, it was. Cause she had you, she had them though. She had the, the contacts that make her eyes hazel. Just drawing. When you yeah. put the contacts, in, were you getting compliments? Yeah. Hey but, Dre, I mean, look at your eyes. And then when you take them yeah. out, did they ask you what happened to your eyes? Nah, but I mean your eyes go. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to sound corny. <laughs> in the light, my eyes are lighter anyway. I know. You, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, I, when I get when I get sleepy, my, my eyes get like when I get tired, my eyes get lighter. My girl. So that's you bought lighter lighter. contacts than the eye, than the lighter eyes that you already had. They were hazel, yeah. I didn't buy them though. I told you it was a girl's drone. So I would just put them in and just be drawing. Was this like self-conscious shit that made you do that? No, I was just drawing. Like just to do it. Just 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 to be, you know. What I mean, I felt in high school I was handsome, so like just to get more. Compliments, I guess. Oh, what you, you know what I mean? Like eh, that was your way of getting likes back then. That's literally what that was. A hundred percent. Yep. Let me get these likes real quick. Yeah. Those, those, see, those was all those was authentic likes. Those were from actual oh, people. There was nothing authentic that. about Dre buying eyes. I didn't buy them. Eyes. The girl had them, and I would I would, you know what I'm saying? Borrowing eyes. I was borrowing. Hey, Dre. Dre here. Dre, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you one of my embarrassment moments so we ain't please like, on you. I remember one time I fucking when Cisco came out, I did the silver oh, shit in my hair. Bro. Uh, <laughs> when right. did you do that? that? Bro, I you my silver. nigga. I ain't think you would ever do no shit like that. When did you do that? I think I was just like the seventh grade or some shit like that. I say, yo, mom, like, yo, he, Cisco got the silver in yo, his mom. hair. Spray my shit silver. Hey yo, was you in the song while your shit was was silver I, or gold? Or? Nigga, I did that shit, but see, I did that. The reason you probably didn't know, I think I did that shit over the summer time. So I was in school, like <laughs> yo, that's even shit. worse. <laughs> Hot oh, ass hair dye. Shit out hey, while we not I'm in school. Ask, like, this all this shit, if it, only niggas in it my area. <laughs> nah, I ain't no pictures, dog. You you definitely <laughs> want to play ball? That that shit, I can't wait to get that shit out. Ball sweated that shit out. Tall ass just, cat. The niggas streaks was, of silver was getting on me, dog. Motherfucker looking like gold dust. <laughs> <laughs> nigga came down the court sweating, sweating bullets for real. Hell, but that's why I'm thinking, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some jewels. I'm gonna, everybody oh, like man. the Cisco nigga with the silver hair. I'm gonna get me some silver oh, hair. Man. Worst right. decision in my fucking lying. life, dog. You're not lying. There, Worst. there were, there were people, hardcore thugs, dying their hair. Oh yeah, the, 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 the dude that there. fought in the, uh, you know, uh, what was his name? He, he passed away, but the dude that fought in the UFC, he was a wrestler. This big muscle bound wrestler in the UFC had like blonde hair, better, dark skin dude. I'm talking about wrestlers, nigga. Shut up, man. We're not even go there. But <laughs> your question: So when y'all were doing these things, right? Dre borrowing eyes and okay, all right, loving all it. All right, the goes done and done. Uh, <laughs> uh, do, do y'all feel as though y'all was getting getting love from it, or were y'all getting curves from that? Shit? Oh man, that's shit... more curves or more love. I was, getting I, love, nigga. I was, you don't want to know. I was getting curved. That shit was like, you I do want to know. That's why I asked, fool. Nah, you're fucking, <laughs> you're never you know. fucking tall, and yeah, that shit. Yeah, was like, nobody yeah. see your shit though. You was six foot five in the fucking in the fucking tenth grade. Nah, nobody looking nah, at your head. No, guys, in the seventh grade, I was. I was probably like five ten. Man. I was told oh, my mom's five seven, so I was told him. I was told that I was told to my mom. My mom's five seven, so I was told to my mom. I was about like five, yeah, about five nine, five ten in the seventh grade. I wasn't that tall. Only was, five seven. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like five, seven. up there with me. I think she like five nine. 
maybe five by the time it, yeah so yeah i was like yo this, this shit like i said i'm glad i did this shit in the summertime so it's like a test to see like yo how niggas will feel about that shit as soon as i went outside to hang with my homies i just they automatically started clowning so it was like yo Fuck the people that you held yeah. with. Fuck the people you played ball with. When you approached a female nah. with your... Oh, they laughed. That shit attitude. was funny. That shit oh, so was funny to them. Oh, they was curving the fuck out of me. That was funny <laughs> shit to them. They can't believe that I did... That a dude would actually do that goofy shit. You know what's funny? Like, niggas, when, I was, so, when I was getting braids, when, I was, when my hair was long, I was... I feel as though I was more attractive, and then when I cut my hair, I got curved more. Really? Dead ass. When, back in the day, when my hair was long, it was like a feature like women liked at the time. Girls <clears> liked <throat> at the time, I should say, because we were young. And and um, it just it attracted to it attracted them to me. And as soon as I got my hair cut, I heard more. Oh, what happened to your hair? <laughs> <laughs> then, then, hey, I heard all oh, what happened to your hair before I would hear, yo, Kev, what's up? Yo, hey, what happened to your hair? Oh, okay. This what your we hair do. was your identity. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, and I couldn't grow it back if I wanted to. Now, it stops at a certain length. I mean, it's, it's months. I let, like, you know, when I go through my periods, I'm just grinding it out. I don't feel like getting a haircut. Every day is work. You know what I mean? Weekends, I'm with my family. I'm chilling. I don't feel like doing none of that shit. Also, some places I go to get a haircut, they don't raise their price to like 50 bones for a haircut. I feel as though that's unreasonable. So, thought that was normal. $50 for a haircut, not including tip. Gas for me to get there, taking 20 minutes, almost 25 minutes to get to my barbershop and 25 minutes to get back. That's almost me spending $100 for a haircut. Who I look like? Fuck it. Nah. No. <laughs> you know no. What I mean? I just want to look <laughs> no, because don't that's look like puffy. No, you'd never look like puffy. Yeah. Thank you. So, <laughs> but but for real though, no, like that shit, that shit. When, <laughs> Allegedly, still, I'm not. I'm not right at this point in life. I'm not trying to spend a hundred dollar round trip for a haircut. You know what I mean? That's just me. If you want to spend a hundred dollars for a haircut, more power to you. You know what I mean? I don't look at my hair as it being as important as spending a hundred dollars. I mean. That's gassing up my car for almost two weeks for, for well, work. Nigga, you can you get to walk around like get to walk around like Corey Phillips when you don't cut your fucking hair. So like it, it doesn't really Corey matter. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. but and, yeah, you? but what I'm saying it stops. Yeah, he, there it is. I couldn't think of the name. I don't watch that show. That's that's not show Corey Phillips. But uh, but but <laughs> Andre it, show. It doesn't. It stops <laughs> at a certain point. It'll get to like, it'll get to like the curly fro, and then that'll mm-hmm. just be it. I can't get it like past the point of my nose or something like that but back in the day my shit was long you know what i mean my shit used to go to the middle of my back type shit so Ew. so yeah you don't yeah, say that's when you can't do it that's why nigga that's when that nigga, <laughs> that's when he would just go talk to bitches and swing his hair like this and he's like you get your fucking hair out of here nigga like I mean, oh, man. You, you I mean, listen Kev no when he when he was attempting to grow the hair and it would stop on the yeah. on the back of his neck here we go. It stopped on my shoulders, nigga. My shit ain't stopped back. I should stop that from my shoulder. It would go nowhere past it touched my shoulders. It would go nowhere past my shoulders. But what what would you use as a point to draw women in? Yo, I need my hair braided. That was my hair. Yeah, that was you was a sicko with that, that shit. You was a, definitely a sicko. <laughs> That was the move. You, you went sicko move, move, bro, with your hair. Y'all need to break sicko, my hair. Yeah, that was the move. It wasn't no Facebook. It wasn't none of that back then. I mean, we might have had MySpace. Nah, time. Nah, nah, it wasn't even Brady none of that. Was, we had, we had my, I think we had Dog. MySpace at the time. Because mm, nah, we had bro. MySpace together. We all had together. Me and you. I, 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 I had my car one time. To get a joint, I had a car. I had my hair out. I just stopped, stopped the joint. Like, yo, break! Can you break my hair? You know how to break? Just didn't even know her. Got the rapping, boom, boom, boom. Yo, man, Braden, Later on that night, man, knocked, it, you the, got knocked it the fuck off. I just Sick. knew it was coming. Nigga still use that to this day. Oh yeah. What you asking the braid now? I ain't got to braid nothing. I right, listen. I, right now, <laughs> right now is, is yeah. general is general conversation, and then thank you for helping me out, and then walk away. That's that. that you that's it. My scalp. But back then, I was I had a goal at my. 
Huh? Can you grease my scalp? Go, grease my scalp. Oh, man, I got... Yo, you hear this nigga Dre? <laughs> Dre, I am. I am in. <laughs> I'm in a relationship. I'm in a I'm in a committed relationship. I ain't worried about that bullshit no more. I don't even worry about females no more. Like it's it's so much easier now to be in a relationship to have a conversation with a female and just fucking completely walk away like nothing and just and it, and it, it it's natural. Think when about how unnatural was to talk to a female back then. You find yourself curving women now. It started getting easier when I'm like, yo, I'm happy with the woman I got at home. I'm I'm mm. I'm content in life. I'm good. I'm good. I don't I don't want nothing. Has it always so been that this, it it's been easy, but when you have a goal in when you talk to a female and you have a goal in mind and possibly trying to sleep, because your first thought is to sleep with them. Let's I'm not ladies. No, I want to get to know them. Yeah, no, fuck they're, all that. They're inside. Fucking, oh yeah. I wish niggas I wish niggas would stop getting on these fucking podcasts and these fucking mics and oh you gotta get to know them. Listen, every fucking guy here this nigga born no nah, it's the fact every guy born from the fucking stolen age shit now their first intent is to hit yo then, you think yo 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 hold on before you go before you go before you go before you go you right. think you think gay men do the same thing with other gay men you think they probably, first thing to do it is no, to hit that's why that's I'm why serious. they that's why they're so happy it's a good question <laughs> i mean that's i don't think it, i don't think it i don't think the thought process changes I'm because curious. because yes. of you know, them being gay, I think they, they, gay or not, they still or not. have that same sex yeah. drive as a man. Yeah, if man. you have a sex drive, mm -hmm. if that's your thought process, that's your thought process. I'm not gonna say everybody jumps to the gun of yo, I'm trying to fuck you. That's the first thing that's on my mind. But you are man, appealed to someone like sexually before you are appealed to them. Um when it when it comes to to their intelligence, you know what I mean? The the, okay, I'm a, you you don't stop approach a all right, as a man, I mean, I'm in a committed relationship as well. But as as a man, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't be like, oh, yo, damn, she looked like she got good conversation. Damn, she looked like she read twelve books a week. Nah, I'm go. looking at her like, damn, damn, that ass fat. That's the first thing. That's Ken's favorite line back in the day. Her ass fat, and then he'll look. She prayed. <laughs> you know what I mean. So you she probably look good as hell naked. Yeah, in the second, in the second thought, she probably look good naked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You look. I wonder, if she, can, so I wonder if she can braid. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, even if she can't, if <laughs> we gonna figure, I'm gonna let her attempt while I attempt. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? That was the moves back then. You know what I mean? What? But but no one does that. No, I mean, no, I don't think anyone looks at a person and be like, they look intelligent. I'm gonna go stop. talk to them. You looking at them because you feel you have a sexual attraction to them, which appeals you, to you to make you want to talk to them. Um, I, I just, you think I otherwise? Hate, go, go ahead, Kevin. Yeah, I, 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 I just, I just hate when niggas. I, I just hate when niggas get on these podcasts and and and, and try to fraud and, and 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 put down other men and then get on their social media accounts after they get off their little fucking podcast. And they inbox and, and inboxing people to set up pussy for the next day. Like, just stop lying. Like, we all, as men, we all trying to get some ass. That's well, our first approach. It doesn't you. mean that we don't like you, but we're going to want to get the ass first. And in the process, if we get to know you, that means you stick around. Me, and if you don't, if we don't like you, we're probably going to hit and never call you again. Let me ask y'all, Is do you think that there Sorry. is a... Um, um, as you get older and as you, cause I'm, I'm going to set up a scenario and I, I, I feel I've been in a relationship forever. I feel neither way. So, you know what I mean? But yes, do you did. think as a man that Sorry. you can become, you can be in a position where it's like having, it's like having money, you know what I'm saying? Where you already got girls that you fuck and you're looking for something different. Maybe you're looking for a wife. I'm just putting this out there. If you get older. So you're looking for different qualities first. Now, yes, they have to be attractive. They have to be attractive. That's something that you're looking at. But say you are looking for, hey, I got a list now. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm looking for, I, I got girls that give me pussy, but I'm looking for the woman that reads or goes to the gym or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Latina or fuck whatever. Do you think there's men that's looking for something other than sex first? Yeah, it, it maybe. But you know what? To shoot that all down. You go get the sex and that shit's whack. 
You think that's going to stop somebody? Who said that? From, from actually wanting you. All right, so boom. I'm gonna give you a scenario, Kev. She don't suck scenario. dick. I'm Let gonna me hear you, Jen. She don't suck dick ever. She tells you she don't. She would never suck dick in her life, and she don't suck dick. Period. Ever, and she would never do it. But it, it she reads last. books and goes yeah, to the gym and does it everything you like. You telling me you're going to stick it, around it until last. y'all die and you never before, get your dick sucked. Before, before we move forward and answer that question, Kevin, have you ever gotten your dick sucked by per, by female? I was about to say person, but that would have been weird. Man. By female that uh, said person. they never sucked dick before or don't suck dick. Have you ever gotten your dick sucked from a female who I, said they yeah, don't suck dick? Yeah, I got my dick sucked by some. <laughs> All right, boom, that right there. The worst experience that, of my life. Yeah. Yeah. I, can, I, could, I could convince you. But I <laughs> also, but time out. I also know, I also know people who've been in relationship who girl says, yo, I'd rather go, go cheat. I'm not sucking your dick. She's a fucking idiot then. Yeah. See, no, she's no. not. Because y'all just said niggas is out there looking for you, did, a yeah, you, you lawyer. Yeah, you Everything. I'm not missing that, the screw. You me. added. You added that extra construct. I sexual, said, "Oh, you've got to have that sexual thing in there. It's no, got to be in I there." Said, a man looking for. I said, "The guy who already has." If we're going off of what I said, the guy who already has the other sexual shit and saying, "Listen, I'm looking for a wife. These are the things I'm looking for to start the conversation." Now, once he's in said relationship or in a whatever he is with the new girl then whatever happens happens i'm talking about criteria for looking for yeah. that next woman i'm not talking about once he's there once he's there whatever ha- the girl can be a fucking axe murderer he ain't gonna stay with her like you understand what i'm saying like i'm talking about the criteria for finding do you think there's men out there who base their criteria on different shit not sexual first because you have to fuck her you have to fuck her to understand what she likes to do and what she wants to do or at least get to that part of the conversation well my thing about that is do you approach someone that you're not appealed to because you can't you don't know if you're no. appealed to her conversation yet no you don't know what she has to offer you and te- you know what i mean with an intelligence conversation uh ethics none of that mm-hmm. when she's a person that you do not know she's a stranger what what appeals to you first to make you looks. want to have that conversation? Exactly. Always looks. Yes, it's always, going to be looks. It's always, a, it's always sexual first. It's always. You think looks is sexual? I think so. Yes, it's, it's sexual. sexual. What the fuck is? I do. I think. I'm, I'm I think, asking. I I do. If you're looking, yeah. if you're looking at a woman and she looks good to you, I feel as though that is a sexual attraction. Is it not? Okay. Is it something? No, where do you? No, I'm just. I'm just asking. Where did your eyes put this way? Where did your eyes go to first when you first when you first approach a female back then? Face. Okay, and then next, breast. Of course, body parts. Like it's not under it's not under fire. I'm just asking so we can further the conversation. Like our looks considered to be something that you're like, man. I I, I wonder how she could take a dick. I'm asking. I don't wonder that. Nah, but I look not, at I'm certain body parts. I look at she's sexy, and I look at her. I may look at her lips like, man. Yeah, I'm going to say it in my mind. I'm sorry, it's going to come to my mind like, man. Her <laughs> lips, her lips, like she can suck me in dick. Yes, I'm going to say that. Okay. Or I'm like, I'm look at her thighs. I'm like, damn. Like I wonder what that look like. Like I, that. Those are thoughts that go through every man mind. But then you be like, yo, she's she bad too. Like, all right, and I can, and she, and then the next thought, she's bad also, and I can take her around and show her the fuck off. Those so, are the right. thoughts that go through your head. You those are the third. I want to go there. I want to go there though. I want to go there. Yeah. So you think you think of how she has sex first before she before how she looks, mm-hmm. or you wrap them up in one uh, what you call? It? I think it looks first. But no, Kev said that they're connected. Looks at her. Oh, see, but Kev, you look at you look at parts and then you stimulate your sexual innuendos into the parts. Th- then he says, body. Oh, and, and she's bad. And then she, she can, bad. She yeah. can have sex <laughs> and she's bad. Ooh, it's usually she's she bad. bad. <laughs> at the bullseye right now, Kev. What you doing about it? <laughs> hey man, listen, y'all listen. <laughs> Some shit you take down, niggas like you hit that. And niggas and they look at her face, and then you be like, nigga, wait till she walk by. 
I'm like, damn, my ass just. That's a last up. resort for me. I'm not gonna lie. That's more of a last resort. That's not last resort. It's just me. It's just for me. You know, when you me. Using, but when you use the scenarios like that, Kev, like, oh, you you hit a jaw and that isn't really sexually appealing. More than likely, you're, you, you, you weren't a not not the fact that you're not bragging about her, but even when you went to to have sex with that person. You, you found her somewhere. You, you weren't no, not even that, bro. You 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 might not even were attempting to do that at the time, but I mean oh, yes, it so. was it was no, nah, there's been times where you're like, I wasn't even trying to hit that, but yeah, I just fell in my lap and I was like, fuck it. You know what I mean? You ain't had no situations like that before, Kev. Mm, you wasn't trying really to hit the bitch, but you ended I had up situation, I had, sit, I had situations crazy. like that. I had situations like that, but the situations I had like that, like she was cute, and the conversation sure? was kind of, and the conversation was good. You, you sure? Because I might, I might know of one that I'm like, nah. <laughs> we all got the jaws. Nah. We all got the jaws where <laughs> oh, I got where, something that I just we like. We all yeah. got the jaws where you were like, something yo, you just like get, it happen. You need, to, you need to shoot off. You know what I'm saying? That's yes. This, this is an available that, opportunity. That it's, it's right took, next to you. You just took it. You just took it because it was there and it was it was available at the time. You know what I mean? You needed to relieve yourself. Kev, the only you nigga know I, mean? I know that will wake up next to something that he could like. Ah. <laughs> He'll wake. <up. laughs> I, was, I know about a specific situation. That's what I'm talking about. Oh shit. Yeah, you know. What Go mean? ahead. So, yeah, I woke up like. Ah, 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 ah. I know. I know the specific situation where a nigga just woke up like, oh, all right, cool. And then, <laughs> and you wasn't worried about how that motherfucker looked. You wasn't worried about none of that shit. No, we've I all wasn't. been there, I didn't. man. We've all I didn't. been there. We all know about each other's nice person. terrible, terrible choices. <laughs> Still nice, nice person. person. Nice, nice person. person. Still but, all in all, nice person. Yes. Yeah, nice person. they aren't bad people. They're just someone that you're not really sexually attracted, attracted to. to. Yeah, you're, you're not gonna, gonna, gonna show. show them. You're just, definitely not showing them but, off. But I, but I guarantee you. When you first originally met that person, you wasn't thinking about hitting that. No, nah, I wasn't. I think I th no. Nah, I just was coming to have a good time, and like if it happened to happen, but it's like I wasn't. My intentions wasn't to do that. It was like yeah, I have to go down and go down. I'm just here Kev, because Kev, you're the opposite you, sex. That sounds like some it, fun to that with. sounds like an open intention. Like you know what. I'm not gonna attempt to do it, but if it comes to that, I'll do it. That means you already had the sexual thought in your mind of hitting that. So then, 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 then y'all don't. That's me as a person. There's some people, yo. There's some people that it's some, some females that I hang around. There's some females that I hang around. I'm like, yo, she's cute. I find her attractive, but I don't think I want to sleep with her because. Uh, I think she's wifey material. Like if I was to choice? mess with her, huh? Okay, you don't want to sleep with wifey material. That's what you trying to say? Nah, I mean, because at the time, like, yeah, the, I listen to me. Because at the time, listen to me. Time. But let me finish. But let me finish my thought. At the time, I was. I know I wasn't looking for wifey. I was just looking for something slut, and I and that was my whole mindset. And I kind of had it, an intention. And I already had like intentions for someone else. And so it was like, yeah, I'm not even going. I'm not even going to. I'm not even going to mess with you. You're just going to be my friend, and I'm never going to even approach you on that type of time because I think to approach you on that type of time, I would have to first, one, be out of a relationship for a long time, get the demons out of my system, and then come at you on some righteous shit. You was ahead of your time, cuz. Yeah, I don't think so. You was ahead of your time, and I feel like, I feel like you overestimate yourself as an adult looking back on yourself. Mm. Yeah, I do. Okay, I don't. I don't oh, know. yeah. I mean, <laughs> I don't, because I've remember that me and you have been. Well, I mean, we don't do well every for a long time. day now, but when we were younger, every day, every day type shit, we were together. You know what I'm saying? And I was there for the thought process because when you when you <laughs> when you when you have a thought process, it is verbal. <laughs> there is no there is no thought let me put this in the thought section it's thought to mouth with you it's thought to mouth it's, that's a crazy you think comparison. about it you say it and you know this is true i mean you've gotten better about it now as you know what i'm saying mouth. as an adult like oh yeah you realize that you know what as an adult i just think there's certain things that i got to keep in here you know what i mean and then i'll tell you later after my thought process has completed and I know how I want to say it a little better. Well, back I'm then, shit to myself. Back then, 
your mumbles were terrible. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> right? But back then, it was you thought, you said it, no matter the scenario. You know what I mean? So I know for a fact that if she looked like wife material, she was definitely fucking material for you. She 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 was, but it was, yo, and, real and, shit. And, and, and attempt. And, 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 and if it worked out for you, it worked out. If it didn't, you didn't care because you already I, had the cheeks. I didn't even, and that's the thing. I didn't attempt it. I don't. I don't think I ever. Like I just. Let I it remember slide. you telling me when we were younger one time. You miss all the shots that you never attempt. That was fucking Wayne Gretzky. Yeah, nah. yeah but I stole the shit. You told me that shit <laughs> <laughs> out loud. You miss a hundred percent of the shots that you never. Thought take. process when he was thinking about a when he was looking at a shorty like man she looked like wifey material. Kev, you don't want to hit that. You want to be in love with that, and you ain't ready for that. You miss all the shots you don't attempt, and then walk away. And then walk away. <laughs> and then, and then don't attempt. <laughs> and then proceed to motherfucking. And then proceed to, to talk to her. I've never seen Kev say that he was attracted to a woman and not attempt to talk to her back then. What are some of the reasons that y'all was curved though? Like when when these things were happening. What are some of the reasons that y'all were curved? I got curved. I got curved. I got curved for. I Give me the worst one. one. The worst. I, uh, I think the worst one, I think somebody, and this is like the worst one because I think I cussed the chick out. I had, a, I think Kiara was a baby at the time. And I walked up the shorty, started rapping to her. I had Kiara in the stroller talking to me. And, she, and I think she said, ew, you got a kid. Man. Oh, wow. She called every, I, I don't really call, I don't like calling women bitches, but Debatable. she called every bitch. I, you all hate an ugly bitch. I ain't want to talk to you stinking, skeezing ass bitch. I just Went in on her. Your mouth just dropped. And she said, she went to attempt to say something. I said, I'll fuck you up, your dad up, your brother up. Get whoever, bitch. I'll fuck you. And just walked off because I was tight. Because I got curved. <laughs> nah, it, it wasn't my heart was broken. My you, said, you said something bad about my kid. Like, I motherfucker, like, yo, I real, let's, let's be realistic. You might not even, you just might get thrown in the rotation and, and might get thrown out just as quick. Act like you like I'm. She act like I was like thirsty for it, and like I'm not. Like I, I'm not. I got I got a couple of things on fucking speed dial that I can call tonight that I won't be lonely tonight. You were just something. I'm just trying to add to team as a young as a young man because Care was a baby. Care was tiny. She was in the stroller. She's 21 now. So you talking? Yeah, you talking almost 20 years ago. Ever will pierce that armor. You disrespect. You know yeah, that. Well, she said ill. Uh, she said my uh <laughs> my I guess my worst and this well Kev is gonna feed into this crazy I know he will but my worst was when I was younger I used to go with my grandfather my grandparents I used to go with both of them to Philly all the time at least a weekend trip right and when I was younger I used to run the streets of Philly and my grandma wouldn't know it my grandfather would let me go out and play and and at 14 15 years old with the kids that were around the way, I used to leave the area. I would go wherever, you know what I mean, with them. I didn't know where I'm going or nothing like that. And I and being that young, you don't really know how Philly is at the time. I was, I was, uh, I could say I was naive and shit like that. But um, when we used to talk to girls and shit like that, I was talking to this one girl, and I thought she was bad. I remember this. We used to go. Uh, it was back back then. It was community pools that you could go to, go swimming. Come on, hunting neighborhoods, yeah, neighborhoods would come there. Different neighborhoods come there. Shit be packed. Disgusting. It was like some. It was like some. Yeah, but when you're 14 years old, it was amazing. Amazing. It was like the Sandlot in the hood. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I remember I was t- I was trying to kick it to this one girl, and I remember she said directly to my face, "Ain't you white?" I don't like white boys. Yeah, I know about this. I knew that was coming. I knew it. <laughs> I'm like, and I was like, yo, I'm not, I'm like, yo, I'm, white? I was like, I'm not white. And she was like, you look white to me. So you'll be white. <laughs> okay. I said, and the boys that I was with, they they laughed their ass off. And they oh, tried to, they tried to, but but I had a few homies out there, so they tried to no, I remember you know, my, my, the, uh, if he ever sees this, you gotta understand how pale this nigga was when he was younger. Since, I haven't seen him since Look I was a now. kid. Niggas beige. But my boy out there, his name was Harold. You know what I mean? That was my dog. 
You know what I mean? Whenever I came to Philly, I when I come outside, when I was at my grandma Barry house, I come outside and I'm always looking for my dog, Harold. It's always mad kids on the block. You know what I mean? So my boy, Harold, used to try, he was trying to tell her like, nah, he not white. His grandpa is Mr. Barry. You know what I mean? Everybody in his family black. His, his family is black. Mm-hmm. And, and she was not trying to hear it. Racist. I was like, I was devastated. <laughs> And to this day, Kevin, them they call me white boy, and I remember that one scenario. Like, yo, know, y- y'all lucky that y'all from my family and shit like that, because I've had traumatic experiences where people <laughs> thought I was white and I wasn't, and I wasn't able to get the things that I liked because of race. Yo. <laughs> not that I was a bad because she would hang with me, she'd chill with me, we were all cool. She just wouldn't date me because she thought I was white. You, you know, what I mean? Puerto Rican. They didn't know. They yeah, but he couldn't speak the goddamn. fucking language. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm going to prove that. Did y'all like some freak though in that zone? It was a funny, funny story. A little, a little funny story, though. This, there, there was this one chick who did like me out there. You know what I'm saying? And um, I remember I was in her house one day. I, I was. She lived across the street from my grandparents. I was in her house. And we chilling, blah, blah, blah. We just... You know, we ain't doing nothing crazy. And I came out of the house. Loser. My cousin Wendy, she's walking out of my grandfather's house. Shout out to my cousin Wendy. I ain't seen her in a fucking year of Sundays. Um, and she like, well, what you doing over there? Come here. I walk over. I'm like, no, we was just chilling. Da, da, da. And I ain't really never think about this shit as a kid because... <laughs> you know, she's a black woman, right? She was just, I mean, she was just a friend to me, you know what I mean? I don't ever pay no mind. And she going to say to me, you better not go over that, <laughs> you better not go over that girl house no more. You know what I'm talking about, the girl with the cookie monster eyes. I was like, what? And I never realized that she had the one eye that just kind of <laughs> wandered well, all crazy, wandered crazy a little bit. <laughs> And when she said that, next time I seen her, I actually like really That's looked at her just as hell. And <laughs> I was, that right fried there, her ass. Fried her ass quick. quick. <laughs> Philly style. I'm like, yo. yo frying, she said the frying the cross eye girl. Cookie monster eye. I was you like, I was like, yo, what you what you talking about? Bruh. Funniest shit I ever yeah. seen. But yeah. Yeah, man. Call, nah, call me white wouldn't let me wouldn't let me do nothing. I could I just see and nah, remember, got like by his curve. 13, 14 years old, you was trying to kiss a girl, damn for real. Like you was just you yeah, was well, to kiss a girl. 12, 12. Yeah. I mean, you, you was kissing 14, girls at 14. Nah. 14. Uh, well, no, nah, 14. I was a little uh, I was I was I was drawing. I was one of them people who was um, a frisky boy. Well, no, nah, I, I I I don't I don't I'm not gonna say matured early, but like I was I went through, you know, like I had sexual feelings very early, you know what I'm saying? So, like, the, the shit, it takes over I after a while, and I know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get you to my crib, or I'm trying to go to your crib, or wherever we at, and I'm trying to perform sexual acts. That's how I was. I don't know why, and I'm not saying I was the, <laughs> I was the man after that and fucked everything that moved. That's just, er, it just happened to me early. You was a freak boy at a young age. That's all it was. Yeah, 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 because yeah. that's what oh, it was. So. Okay, we not gonna let you What what was your shit? What was your curve? Um, being curved for (coughs) I think uh just somebody not being attracted to me. Like it's I wasn't I wasn't ugly and I didn't do weird shit, but I'm trying to go I'm trying to go in my memory banks to see if there was an embarrassing one, and I'll probably (coughs) talk embarrassing what (coughs) oh give me one, go tell me so I can say it. South Street, my nigga. Oh, that was crazy, and that was a oh, that was that's but different. that was immediate curve, and Jay yeah, did seem like a creep. I yeah, he I'm did in a seem car like a full creep. of men, and I said you're, and then hey. as she saw us, and then fucking um, I don't know what she did. I just know it turned she into turned her. down the Star dark speed walk. Her. No, she ain't speed walk. She immediately went into a sprint. Yeah, she went into a sprint. Yeah, down an alley. Yeah, and she she chose terrifying. she chose to go down somewhere where her life could be in danger. <laughs> Rather than to let Dre have an actual conversation with her, that yeah, was crazy. crazy. And, and but, what did but, you yell but, out? What did you yes, yell out to the chest? Yes. What I mean, did you yell? This. 
a bunch of times, but I told as she was running away, I said, I'm not going to rape you. Because wait, I wait, believe that going? that's rape I'm not gonna rape you. Because I believe that's <laughs> what she thought was gonna happen. It's like it was a car full of full of niggas. I was gonna get out and talk to you and hey, what's up? But I think uh the most most normal or the or the one I can think of is just you know a person not being attracted to me and like giving me the look like or being too goofy. There you go. Like being too like, if I was in school and I tried to talk to a girl, like she look at me like, "Oh, you the funny nigga." Like, you joking right now? Fuck out of here. Like, I like serious Dang. 20, 28 year olds. You know what I mean? Not the the nigga who funny in class. Who's laughing now, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> got a baby I'm, by. I'm pretty sh- go ahead. She got a baby by a sixty year old man. She's yeah. forty. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a more embarrassing thing. No, like I just have to go on my memory banks. I'm pretty sure there's more embarrassing. Oh no, shit. nigga, it's been a couple of times. Yeah, I think it's a couple times. Things, we went to the mall. mall a couple of times. I think you got curved. We all got curved at the mall. I mean, that I would consider that just a girl not being attracted to me. Like I don't have a specific thing, but I would say it's just because she's not attracted or just not looking at the time. I never, I never had a woman be like, "Ew, fuck out of here, you dirty," or "Here, ew, look how you dress." Like I've never had that. So that's what I mean. Like, I don't know. But if there's one that I could think of, I didn't do, you know what? As I got older, I didn't do a lot of attempts. I didn't do a lot of attempts. I've been with this one for so long. And otherwise, I would just talk to chicks that's, you know what I mean, that that y'all would know, which I would consider well, maybe she wasn't, or maybe I did something embarrassing at the time, you know, that made her say, yeah, now nah, I'm good. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just can't think of a, a particular one. So, I, I'm so not white. Question now. Yeah. So I didn't so, get that so one. Let's ask you, let's just be older. <laughs> nah, you didn't get that one. And he didn't have a baby at the time as a young. Girl, I didn't so have a baby. Yeah, I didn't get those things. So I don't know. Definitely wasn't the coolest nigga though. Get it? Get it? Absolutely straight. So the the probably the most the, the one that I could say is just me being maybe too goofy. Damn, right. That's it. So how, how's it? How's it feel now to be curving women like? how easy it is now to just and you don't even know you're curving you're just having a conversation and you just yeah. i was gonna say, you I see it's going it. you see it's going well like now like i have conversation i think i was like at a home depot or something just looking at something just talking just talking to female happy to be there just conversating back and forth and the conversation going well and you can you know see more and more of her teeth and she's smiling and then you like hey, yeah my wife and then you see her whole face switch up. It's like, oh, I didn't. I hope you didn't think this what this was. It was just a, a normal conversation between two people in the aisle. I'm not interested. I'm just conversating because you was here. Oh, you're married? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, well, you know what? You have a good day. I gotta get going. Oh, okay. You didn't seem that much of a rush earlier, but all right. Have a good day <laughs> and walk off. Right. The, how, how, how many conversations have you get that deep? into it like yeah you're giving them too much love yeah if i if i, I, if I, if much, I, if just... I feel as though i can because man we've been through the shits so if if i feel like there's she's doing things to kind of try to uh make me want to conversate or drive me in or she's you know you can get a couple of no, couple of notions so if she starts like touching me or something like that then i'm like oh nah, touch me bitch cool. Your you know what I mean? Then you then when you, you start realizing that thing. the conversation is is changing, she's trying to put a trajectory on where this conversation lands at, and you gotta be like, all right, yeah. But nice talking to you though. You know what I'm saying? Like thank, thank you for the help. <laughs> so uh, so nobody ever wanted to make you leave the one you're with and start a new relationship with them. That's what you did. Nah, I never no usher songs. Uh, Kev was confused. Like, yeah, I don't listen. That's huh? my wife. My wife listened to Usher. That was when we were kids. But go ahead. Kev, you don't listen. To I don't Usher. listen you to don't Usher. Like Usher. No, no, no. I was like more of an ISD brother and Carl Thomas dude when I was younger. Cool. Uh, you know what? Keep going. That's why you get curved. At R. Kelly. R. Kelly. There you go. There you go. Bullseye. Chocolate Big factory. curve. Choc- chocolate factory. <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, that's why they fucking curve you. I, I don't um, <laughs> I, you know what? I think I'm one of them people, bro. I've been doing it for so long. And sometimes it's not that way. Sometimes it is that way. Like when you talk, when you're talking to other women, like I would never know because 
I'm already like it's like a like you professional with it. You, you understand what I'm saying? Like I'm so professional in the way I interact that you can't even get that far with me. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been doing it for so long. And if you give somebody an inch, they'll take a mile no matter what. So like to me, it's one of the things if you see them in a one on one like a, or a one off basis, like in the aisle at Walmart. It's easy. It's like a woman that you work with, though. Right. Or that you see often. That's the hard ones. Yeah. And I, and I don't get much of that because I'm so professional that me and you ain't even going to get to that far. I'm wearing my ring. Um, even before that, like I was talking about what my girl was doing. I'm, it's just different. Um, the one offs, you can even go a little bit further in your conversation and honestly just end it wherever you want. But the harder ones, which I don't let it get that far, is the ones that you might work with or the ones that you see. Did, do y'all have any of those type of things that might have happened? Somebody that you work with that you had to be like, yo, I'm happy over here. Can you get that shit that you're doing the fuck away from me? That happened a long time ago. Happened, and that was at, yeah, at, a long that time ago. at like, no, nah, that has happened at Bob Evans. It hasn't happened since recently. No, the people I work, most of the people I work with now, I work with a female now. Like she, I need we talk about I our fa- we both talk about our families. I need to know what you're talking about. Yeah. Who tell me? Don't tell me who. Just, just yeah, I need to know. I not got, attractive. You know, if some, some, some new. Now she was attracted to Italian joint. I think I would. I was with uh Care Mom. I think Care Care Mom was pregnant. Where at the time she's pregnant with Kiara at the time, and the joint was just like, it just was always like real, like hands on and shit. I think I was in the break room one time, chilling. I was tired, and I was like, lay my. You remember the desk they used to have back there and shit in the break room? You can. I laid my head down on the desk, and I was just chilling. And I just feel somebody like massaging my shoulders. I look up, and it's that her. Was, that like, was me. She like, <laughs> no, it wasn't you. It was her. And she was like, you seemed like you was having a. She's like, you seem like you was having a bad day today. I'm like, uh, I said, I'm stressed about some shit at home. She's like, uh, you know, like rubbing on my shoulder, let it get to you. And I'm and like telling everything. And she was like, yo, I'm like, yeah, my girl at home tripping, tripping. And she was like, like shitting on my girl at the time. And I'm like, all right. Well, I'm like, yo, you know, but I'm, you know, she's pregnant. Da, da, da. I'm break, breaking everything down to her to see if she catch the hit. Like, yo, I'm really not, in, I'm not in the fucking with you right now. It was a, she was so a white was racist person, Italian John. No, nah, I wasn't racist, but I had a kid. I had a kid on the way, dog. Like, I, like the baby wasn't even born yet. Like, she wanted to, like, because one time, she, nah. She, she gave, she wanted to give me a ride home and shit, telling me she was feeling me. I like, yo, I like, I can't. I don't think I can mess with you. Like, you're not understanding that I got somebody at home. I have a kid on the way that ain't even born yet. Like, I don't even want to do this shit. Like, uh, she she had dark hair. Not uh, she was a new, she was a new um, she was a new waitress. I forgot her name, but she was an Italian joint. She had black hair. She was cool okay. people, but it's just like, yo, she was just she was like overstepping her boundaries at yeah. work, even though I started, I was giving her all that. It's like, yo, I got somebody at home. Explain the situation. You took me to my crib. Like, yeah. and I've never like even approached you in that type of time. So yeah, that was one. That's why I said it was a long time ago. That was legit. It was at Bob Evans. So y'all know that okay. was long ago. That was like it was twenty years some ago. yeah, like twenty some years ago. You know what? It's um, I don't think I've ever had that because I've because of the where I've worked at over over the years. I don't think I've had that because I don't work with women. Yeah, I'm not saying I work with men for so long. Pause. And and I mean, I think if if it has, I'm so you know what I'm saying? Like I'm good with my shit, bro. Like I'm good. I got the with how they roll the punches and shit and they parry. I'm I am i am good with all that. Oh, I had one I had the one white girl dude's white dude who's mad, another white girl too. That's why I work at that US. Wait a minute, wait a, wait a minute, wait a minute. She used to call me, she used to call me and Nate her baby dads. <laughs> I I do remember right. a time with Dre. I do remember a time with Dre. No, you don't. I I do. I'm this. I do. I won't. I won't. I don't know if you want the business out there, but you can say it. I'm, I'm the shit. A time. We were <laughs> at a party it. at Kev's house. We were all fucked up. All of us. Everybody was in, in the house was fucked up. There was one particular person at that time that was conversating with Dre. 
And I remember Dre came over to me and he was like, yo, don't let me do anything I'm not supposed to do because I'm married, bro. And I was like, yeah, oh, I, that. I do. And I know the person's name and, and we'll, we can talk about it afterwards. Okay. But, but I remember, and if I bring it to your attention, you'll be like, ooh. <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't like Dre attempted to do anything, but Dre yeah, I know there was me. tension, there was tension building, and Dre just came to the side, like, nah, yo. <laughs> like, nah. Like his parry, he thought his parry game was good. So Sometimes you just fall. Got, so a couple of jobs got to do do. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, Hello. I remember. It, we, we was having <laughs> But we was having a good. We was having Drake a good took his ring shield night. and she was breaking the berries. It was fun. It was it was a fun time. It was a fun time. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta know your limitations. I feel like now, regardless of the fact, I feel like it all was innocent. It wasn't like yeah. you know hardcore attempting to get Dre. It wasn't like that. But you know, some people are just flirtatious. Yeah, and that's just how they are. Yeah. Well, that kind of flirtatious was just. Dre was like, ha, ha, oh, sh- <laughs> oh <laughs> shit. Oh, no. shit. He oh, definitely wasn't attracted to her. No, stung him twice. Then it was like, ding, ding, ding. Dre in the corner talking to me, coach. <laughs> let <laughs> this go down, coach. <laughs> Whatever this bitch is doing. <laughs> Whatever is Whatever. Going Neutralize going. it, please. <laughs> like it drunk and pass out, don't let it rape me. We got to go soon, but it was it was a fun night. Nothing ever happened, and nobody ever took it out of bounds. It was just unexpected things that I guess Dre was Dre ain't never practiced for. <laughs> you know what I mean? He was going to the gym. He was forgetting to do the calisthenics. He was only working on weights. Hey, hey, <laughs> times when you're drunk, you put in a fail safe. That's all a part of the same thing. If you're drunk, yeah. you put in a fail safe. Like yo, I see what I, I see what could happen. <laughs> yeah, it ain't, but make sure. Like, yo. permission to permission to cock block, sir. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. all. It was crazy that it was. We had a good time that night, but that shit was definitely like, oh, and people were seeing it going down too. Like, oh, <laughs> oh no, Dre. But yeah, that was, that was a fun night. See, Dre, it, it, I, I remember that, but. Uh, get, but but getting back to the conversation earlier, Doug, when you said I, when I say. You know, I got a wife. Like, I don't mean it to like when I say that to females is like a, a buffer for them to chill the fuck out. It's like a, I just like instinctively say shit. Like when I was talking to the person, it was just something I was just like, yeah, I just mentioned her. You know, you know, like, it ain't like oh, let's let's stop this conversation. It's meant to like, eh, you know, I like talking about my family and shit. So I don't. You know, I call cap, and I don't say cap. I call cap. Nah, I'm that's dead a, ass. A nah, I'm dead ass. Like a it's a stiff arm, bro. I don't got put stiff arm is if you I like talking about my family. Nobody likes talking about their family. I do. The fuck? <laughs> Nobody does. Fuck. God damn. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry you don't like your wife, man. Let, let, let oh, you shit. Live. All right, now. You love her. All right, that you don't magic, like her. magic me. You love her. I love her. Everybody. I don't like her, but I love her. <laughs> you can love her, but you ain't gotta like her. Listen, it's, it's some days I love my it's some days I love my girl, and some days I don't like that motherfucker. But I, I love understand her. she feels the I don't same like way. My wife, right that that. That. My, my wife just told me that, that she don't be liking me. That's why I'm like, yo, what? I don't be liking you sometimes. Hey, nigga. Let me just leave this earth real quick. Thanks for talking about this all the time. You can understand what it's like. <laughs> well, you're supposed to like trip. me all the time. All the fucking time. No, like hey, me. hey, nobody talks about that. About the times when you don't like your fucking significant other. My wife told me that. Y'all wife ever tell y'all that? Hey, baby. Get curved hey. by your wife hey, or your girl. Let's do another. Let's, uh, Let's do a my podcast wife, about that shit. My wife asked me. Let's save, let's save this. One. My wife always asked me something okay. funny. She'll be like, she like, you don't like me anymore. You ever get it? You ever get that sometimes? You don't like me anymore. And sometimes mm-hmm. I tell her. Sometimes nah. I'm like, I'm like, she'll be like, or she'll be like, you like me, don't you? And I'll be like, yeah, sometimes. Uh-uh. I wish you would <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I like Leah. I don't like Leha. You gotta Lee, tell me what the fuck that means. Leha is her drunk alter ego. Gotcha. So, so, ah. so when you look, so listen, this is going to be factual. All right. Okay. The next time you come to visit Jersey, okay, 
you're gonna have to have a late night. You probably gonna have to chill in my house till about that was fine. Three in the morning. morning, like three in the morning. You can even oh, sleep over the there. Night. Night. You know we got the extra extra bedroom upstairs or whatever. Try so, spend the night with me. Go ahead. So, <laughs> well, you be at my house, so you be spending the night with me, nigga. So, <laughs> uh, double pass. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Good thing you. Pause. But, uh, <laughs> but she'll, bro, when the bar closes and she comes home, you will meet Leha. It sure. can be funny, but sometimes it can be overbearing. I don't like her. I tell her that all the time. I don't like like Leha. When Leha come home, tell her to go to bed. I don't even really oh, just text shit. me. And let me know you in the house. You know what I mean? Well, the dogs will let me know that she here. But what she be doing? Dogs like she ain't drunk. What don't she be doing? <laughs> what Run. Don't she be doing? <laughs> Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I told her. I said, One day you're gonna come home, Miss Lee. Huh? You're gonna come in the house looking for me, drunk as hell. And I'm a hide, <laughs> I'm a hide from me. You go, oh, like, she be started. raping you. No, it's not like that. Oh, I was about to say, she's, she's un she can be unbearable when she's where she's, you know, what I mean, like, can't understand the speech, you know, what I mean, doing crazy shit with the dogs, like, so she like, like Kev. Like yeah, she yeah. like yeah. <laughs> that's why she, that's drink. why they call each other their drink. drinking partners. Mm -hmm. That's why that's they call bad. each other their drinking partners. Because when Kev gets drunk, he says the most obscene shit, and when Leah becomes Leha, she does the most obscene. Leha. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> it's always it's always funny till it's not like all right, you know, you draw like you know what I mean, you just you're breaking shit. You're making me. one day she woke up. <laughs> One day she woke up. She she came she came to the room and she was like, "Yo, why is there a hole in the wall right there?" And I'm like, "Cause your ass fell into it, <sighs> drunk as hell." That's how you went to sleep. And then she said, and then she said, <laughs> "And then she said, and then she go, oops, <laughs> oops." <laughs> yeah, we can't be breaking shit in the crib. Yeah, we can't do that. And she just go, "Oh man," I'm like, "Yeah, man, you got to chill. Yeah, you, you can put around her out sometimes." I wasn't that big of a hole. I mean, it was a little small joint. She fucking hit her fucking hand into it or something like that. I remember she fell forward. Could have been her forehead that night. I don't know. It's a crazy night for her. She has a good night until it becomes bad. Oh, gosh. Yeah. I mean, I give her one thing. She could party. So, Kev, no. That's crazy. That's why he looks forward to the game nights and stuff. Yeah, no, she's young, she's young. Young. My drinking partner. It'll be like, nah, I mean, y'all got to stop. Y'all niggas can't do y'all niggas can't do this tonight. I'll 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 look forward to that when I come up there. Cause that's that's yeah, I'm on that type of time. Yeah, ask her who's Leha. Drinking like, is the oh, best no. thing to do. You gotta bring her out the ego out. But um, I think we're gonna do next week, we're gonna do an episode. Do I, I I love my wife, but sometimes I don't like her. That's cool. Call it that. That's what I'm calling it. Yeah, call it that. Name yep. just that. That's what we're gonna do next week, man. Get maybe get some more comments. I see the comments is coming through today, man. Get Thank back you, to yeah. Thank you. putting these comments up on the on the screen and shit, man. And let people Yo. say their moments of not liking their wife. <laughs> if, if you missed any of this, or if you want to just show your wife or your girlfriend or whatever you want to do, you want to laugh with your friends. We are all we all these are on YouTube too. And Kev don't erase these, so they're gonna stay on Facebook. So you know, share yeah. shit. Share them. Yeah. Sure. So that's it, man. We out. That's another episode of the Opinionated Podcast. We are your host, Psych. Now nah, we don't even do that shit no more, we bro. Just... You could just do it. It's okay. <laughs> you, like you, you could just do it. He wants to do it so bad, uh, and then stops it. Oh, we shouldn't. Do nah, I don't like doing that. Nah, I, I don't. I just do that shit just to be an asshole. It's just you know, we never been professional, so I just try to be professional now. So, yeah. all right, there, Magic Mike. Magic Mike. I keep that's looking at your hoodie. It looks like a Magic Mike hoodie. I just did the cooking up one. Oh. That shit says Miku. Chinese hole in the back. I feel like we out. Be on the podcast right now. Uh, you know? Bye. We're out because she's about to. She's about to fry. Girl.